Hello everyone, it is the me, GamePango21, and today, well, looks like we're going to be taking another interesting look at an, well, more specifically Dark Souls slash Elden Ring type take that I've seen people throw around. Now, to be honest, this video I am a bit late to because other commentary channels have also covered it, so yeah, obviously, I just don't have anything else to talk about this week, and I'm not going on to Twitter again because, you know, I need to take at least one mental health day to talk about something else. Plus, there's a couple other videos that I've realized that have been in my backlog for a while, so might as well talk about them. There is one JTEC video that I'm unsure if I have covered before, but if I have, then I'll probably go through it, but until then, until I go through all of those videos for whatever reason, today we are going to be talking about, apparently, how asking for a Dark Souls easy mode isn't bad. It's not challenging anything, and it's not... Uh, it's very odd. But, again, I have to get the little thingy out of the way because it does work and I do need to push it a little bit, but... Looking to hit 1K subscribers by the end of the year. We're about halfway through it. I think, well, not halfway through. We're about like four months in, and I'm and we're close to at least 900. So I'm hoping for at least um, 1K by the end. If not, maybe just 900. That'll be fine. But overall, this video right here uh, again is just quite interesting. Uh, so, without further ado, and to, you know, cut down on it, we're going to skip past the first, uh, let's say, 10 seconds. Just so, like, that's mainly the intro of them. Uh, but, let's get started. It's a show where I talk about the video game industry, accessibility, and representation. Basically, can we make more people able to play games, and more people able to see themselves in games? That's what this show's about. Now, when it comes to picking a difficulty mode in a video game, there's a lot of things that can go into that choice. When I'm playing Wolfenstein, for example, I put it on easy mode because it's a power fantasy. I just want to mow down Nazis and I don't want to have any trouble doing that. If I'm playing a first person shooter, I know that's a genre that I personally struggle with, so I'll probably put it on easy mode for that. And I might play a game on easy mode just because there's another game coming out soon and I want to get through this one as quick as possible and the easiest way to do that is with easy mode. Now, I don't disagree with anything that they have just said. What I will say is weird is the gameplay in the background. If this is a gameplay that you've captured for first-person shooters, I understand that you are not the greatest at it, and to be fair, I'm also not a god gamer as well, but I just find it interesting how there is so many things as a personal FPS trash goblin that I am that I look at and I'm like, maybe do a different genre or stick to what you do. I'm not gatekeeper or anything, but, like, that just... That's just sad. Um, but to go off of that and to not insult them personally more than I already have, because this is, again, jokes, people! Jokes, people, please! I don't disagree with that. A lot of that, what she... What she, they... This individual just said to this whole situation is the fact that easy mode, yes, is... Correct. That very much so is a game that you can switch on and off if you really want to. I know people take that same thing with, say, Minecraft or stuff like that. But it's where the points against this and to why she's talking about Dark Souls specifically that ends up being the problem. So... a lot of reasons why someone might want to play a game on easy mode, and I want to clear up today a misconception that I see a lot around games like Dark Souls, Cuphead, Super Meat Boy. There's this idea that adding an easy mode to those games would ruin them because the whole point of the game is the player is supposed to be challenged, they're supposed to have a difficult time. A lot of these games are built around that idea, or they're built around that as structure. The narrative sometimes even builds around that, but I don't think that that would be ruined if you gave players an easy mode. So it Yes, it would, and here's the exact reason why. Mainly if you're talking specifically about Dark Souls, the whole point is that you're overcoming the challenge. Whenever I hear anyone bring up this entire situation about like, oh, Dark Souls or Elden Ring or whatever needs an easy mode to be more accessible to people, I always bring up the fact that there are people out there who have literal disabilities who have played this game and who have found interesting ways to actually play it and who have used unconventional ways to actually play this game. Not only that, I'm also thought of an interesting Viva La Dirt League clip. If you don't know who that is, they are basically a, I believe, England or British type of uh, 
comedy crew that makes internet videos about various logic applied to interesting things. One of their things, their most famous series, I should say, is the Dark Souls series, where it's the Dark Souls, like, logic and stuff and how that actually works. And one of them is by their character of Solaire. And the way that they present it is that get good in the sense of the way that people use it oftentimes is just the best advice that you can give. I would recommend going and looking it up. I can't really play it here because I'm unsure if they would do copyright stuff but to basically sum it up the way that they explain why get good and why people say that is because the stats of the actual um the stats of the actual like cool armors and weapons and stuff they can definitely help but at the end of the day you're going to have to rely on your own skills to get better at this the the game via its own difficulty and again yes a lot of thematical elements and a lot of other stuff would be 100 percent unbalanced if you were to say have an easy mode for it that and also there's a pvp mechanic meaning that if you like, even lock people out of people who are playing the easy mode, people would complain about that. And, you know, since everyone's having the same thing and everyone having to go through the same struggle, it's very much so just the way that it is. And I always side with the artist as well. So I'll talk about that more in, like, a little bit, but I've gone on a little bit too long. Let's continue with this video. Here's the basis of the argument. The Dark Souls series is often summarised best as being about carrying on when things get tough. The tone and the setting are bleak, death is expected to be frequent, and one of the things people love about the game is overcoming a boss so powerful you thought you'd never get past it. It's a game- Okay, we'll go into what she- the, what they said in a minute, but let me just say, this gameplay- Jesus Christ! Lock on to an enemy, goddammit! Like- I, I know that I'm kind of like, I've only really played Elder Ring, I've played a bit of Dark Souls, and I know this level, but at least I know how to lock on to an enemy, or to a boss, or whatever. But you're not doing that, you're just swinging wildly, to bring up an interesting, weird quote that someone has from a different review. But... You should know to lock on to an enemy, to hold the shield up, to dodge and roll out of the way. The enemies, enemies, things are very telegraph. Like, I know that I made fun of the of the like gameplay earlier, but this is just God damn it! I've watched this like three times now, but I just noticed how bad this gameplay is. My God. Anyway. Sorry about getting angry there. It's about not giving up when things look their worst, and a number of players out there will argue that adding an easy mode would undermine this core gameplay and narrative experience. Yes, it would. If nothing in Dark Souls kills you because the game's too easy, is that stripping the player of experiencing aspects of the narrative the creators intended? Yes, it would. So, uh, let's get this out of the way. I don't think that anyone who argues for Dark Souls or Super Meat Boy or Cuphead to get an easy mode is saying that that should be the only way to play the game. I think that everyone, whether they enjoy these games' current level of difficulty or not, can see that this level of difficulty does offer something valuable to a lot of players. Don't worry, we're not arguing that you should have to play on easy mode. We're not taking hard mode away from you. If what you're worried about is that saying I beat Dark Souls won't mean as much if there's an easy mode, just specify what difficulty you beat it on. Your get good gamer cred won't be impacted if you say I beat it on hard mode. I don't think anyone really cares about the get good gamer cred. And again, like I said, go look up that Viva La Dirt League clip because they explained the get good meme in like a very grounded, real world type of way, which I just absolutely love. And again, it's... Not that most people are using it as, like, a meme. They're just saying it, like, get better at the game. Get better at the mechanics. Get better at the rolling and the understanding of how the game works. That's how you get good at a given fucking task or a skill. Like, it, I, I would not have been so inclined as to fucking re-download the game and finally beat the ma the main, the final boss of... Uh, of Elden Ring if it were not like for the DLC that I really wanted to do but also because I just wanted to do it at the end of the day because it just sat there in my library fucking taunting me because I managed to beat all the other bosses with much struggle but the last boss was just so fucking difficult for me but I ended up beating it and I you can like I have a clip somewhere floating around the channel I'll probably pull it up eventually but I have that clip and that clip of me just of pure, unadulterated joy and a happiness that I felt when I finally defeated the boss after so many trials and tribulations felt amazing. So yes, if you were to have an easy mode, you are robbing yourself of that experience, absolutely. But that's just a player experience. If you don't like the game, don't you don't like the game. And it's... I'll get into this in a little bit more, 
Uh, but we need to continue because we're about halfway through this video and there's a couple more things that they bring up that I think is worth talking about. But what I really want to focus on today is this incorrect idea that creating an optional easy mode in these kind of games is something that players are only pushing for because they don't want games to challenge them. Quite the opposite. Many players, myself included, sometimes want easy difficulty modes so that they can have the same challenging experience that you're already having with Dark Souls or Cuphead or Super Meat Boy. We want a challenge that knocks us over again and again, but feels just achievable enough to push through and achieve, rather than something that feels impossibly above our skill ceiling. You mean like the current difficulty of Dark Souls? Super Meat Boy and the other games. They are convincingly just able to be beaten if you are to correctly use the mechanics of the actual game. That's just how it works. So, the current difficulty? If that difficulty to you is too hard, it's not because you're not doing the correct things to try to make it a little bit better or you're not learning the correct lessons that the game is trying to teach you. We want a challenge that's tough, but achievable. Many players like myself sometimes want an easy mode that isn't a total walk in the park. And before you say that I just suck at games and I just want everything watered down for me, two of the three examples I have in here, Dark Souls and Cuphead, are games I've beaten. There are other games that I want easy modes for so that I can be challenged and have it completable, but it's not just that I suck at games, it's sometimes a specific game is tough in a specific way, and I need just a little bit easier to have the same challenging experience you are having. Okay, so this is the statement that really wanted me to make this make the video. What they just said, right, was essentially that they still want to be challenged on an easier difficulty. Let me say that again for the people in the back who are a little bit slow here, all right? They want to be challenged the exact same as a person who is going on a higher difficulty but on an easier difficulty. Okay, I'm going to bring up an interesting and small example, that being rhythm games. I recently got back into Us or Osu or whatever because I wanted to get good at FPSs or get a little bit better at my FPS aim training management, and the aim trainer that I use is fucking just not working for me. But here is one of, if not the biggest, differences between the difficulties in, say, a rhythm game. Yes, absolutely. If you go into the higher difficulties such as Expert, Expert Plus, Rocker, Rockstar, take any of them and look at low-level stuff versus higher-level difficulties. There are things in those higher levels of play that you just never, ever, ever see in the lower levels of play because they are different challenging, and you are having the same experience, i.e. playing the song, and you are still going through and playing the same songs, playing the same rhythm, doing the same thing, but the difficulty and the experience that you would need and that is requested of you is vastly different. And the people at the higher tiers oftentimes can't play some of the lower tiers because they have that weird muscle memory thing. And I'm not saying this to just be like, oh, well, maybe we should make those difficulties easier so people could play the songs on higher difficulties, because that's not how that works. If you don't like the game on the difficulty that it's set at, then, yeah, lowering the difficulty is, quote-unquote, better for you. But Dark Souls is like that sort of difficulty curve, but it just has it set at hard mode. So everyone has the same experience and everyone has to get better at the game in the same methods and ways. And yeah, absolutely. One of, if not the biggest things is that like, oh, well, you could just rebalance the game and stuff. Rebalancing the game that's already that balanced is like hard to do because not only does it you have to balance it for pve purposes but also pvp purposes oh well then just lock people out of playing pvp well some people don't like that because then you know it's just not as fun for the game overall right the biggest and the most important thing to talk about when you are looking at a game like this right is to understand that the person who is creating and making the game has a vision and has a way to make that art permissible to people. If you don't understand why they're making those decisions, you find it stupid and understandably so, 
because you don't appreciate and understand the art that the person is making. Or at least that's how I feel on this. If you are begging and pleading for an easy mode on Dark Souls, you didn't play and understand Dark Souls. And again, given the gameplay that you've shown here, I don't even think you beat either of the games that you just said. Given the gameplay that you've just shown. Where you're not locking onto enemies in Dark Souls, you are very clearly on the first couple of levels in of the boss of the games here you're also on the first couple uh, the first level of uh dark souls itself as well so there's that you also only showed about 30 seconds of the first level of super meat boy so i don't think that you beat any of the games that you just said that you did just doesn't seem like that's the case here and before anyone thinks they're clever and points out oh cuphead's got an easy mode already cuphead has an easy mode that does not let you progress through the game it's not really an easy mode if you can't play it on a reduced difficulty and progress to play the next part of the game on that reduced difficulty it's it's not quite the same thing tell me you've never heard of a practice mode for say something like a guitar hero without telling you've never played a practice mode ever Part of the issue here is the traditional naming nomenclature we use to discuss difficulty modes, and the way it presents what players want from a game. Easy as a difficulty mode suggests that you want an easy time, free of challenge. It suggests the end goal is to take difficulty out of the equation. I don't want this to be hard. Correct. Would a change to calling easy mode, easier mode, or something similar to that fix this issue? Probably not, but at least semantically it might be closer to what a Dark Souls easy mode player might want. No, it would not be because it would cause the exact same thing because of how people perceive easy mode and how people perceive easier mode. Yes, absolutely, it still creates things like that nomenclature of you want to play the game, but on a difficulty that the par artist or person might not have intended to do so. If they didn't implement an easy mode, they didn't need to implement an easy mode. They made it already challenging and enough to be able to challenge the player, but not make it so overcomingly bad. Again, there were definitely several times in Elden Ring where I could agree with you that there were times to do it, but I would recommend this if you're having a tough time with any video game ever. Set it down, walk away from the computer, have a snack, have a drink, go for a run. All right? Step away from the game, let it down, let it rest for a couple days, come back to it. It's just a game, it'll still be there, alright? It's a lowering of the difficulty barrier, but one that still leaves a challenge for the player afterwards. Other than that, there are games like Celeste or Sayonara Wild Hearts that don't strictly have an easy mode, but allow players to avoid optional dangerous areas, skip sections they simply can't seem to pass, or tweak specific character data to momentarily help themselves get past a section. I'm not embarrassed to admit in Celeste there were a couple of times where I slowed the game speed down by a couple of percentage points, just so I would have an easy your time getting the timing right on a really difficult section of the mountain. Yes, and you are completely and utterly robbing yourself of the initial challenge and the initial creation of the actual person who made the game in order to do that. They made these for the accessibility purposes, and yes, certainly they are tools for that, but you rob yourself of, you know, the overcoming of a difficult challenge, at least in, the, in those specific contexts. I still had to do the correct inputs and plan my route correctly. I just had a little extra time to do what my hands couldn't quite keep up with. Sometimes my brain and my hands aren't quite in sync and I just need a little extra window to get things done. It was still a difficult game and those sections were still difficult. I wasn't throwing away all challenge by playing it in a slightly easier method than the default setting. As I said before, there's a lot of different reasons someone might play an easy mode in a game, but let's get past this notion that picking an easy mode means someone doesn't want to experience challenge. And no one is arguing that you are throwing away all the challenge. They were arguing that you were throwing away the specific challenge that the person set out for you that you then modified to fit the way that you wanted the game to be played. At least that's the way that some people view it. I don't view it that way. I view it as using the tools to your advantage. So I kind of agree with you on Celeste specifically. But for other games where this is the artist's intention, I don't agree with you at all. Everyone's skill level is different, and skill levels differ from game to game. Choosing to give myself a little extra time in Celeste occasionally doesn't mean I didn't challenge myself, and it didn't take away from my enjoyment of that game's narrative about overcoming difficult experiences. My playing the game that way didn't impact anyone else's experience or change my perception of that game's challenge-based narrative. We need to get over this notion that if someone picks an easy mode, they don't want to be challenged. Mm, I don't know. I don't really agree with that specifically. A lot of people just want the same experience you're having. They want to experience Dark Souls the way you have, where 
You try again, you try again, you try again, you knock down, you knock down, and you eventually progress. And you feel like you're making progress, you're getting stronger. You feel like it is achievable, but difficult. Someone asking to be challenged a little bit less doesn't mean they're asking not to be challenged. Okay, yeah. And then they go into, like, a, some sort of outro video here. But to go on to that last point of where it didn't affect anyone else's gameplay, yes, it didn't. But Elden Ring and Dark Souls are not that game. They're not Celeste. Verbatim. Like, that's completely true. Saying that one piece of art, when they make a difficulty curve to be able for other people to understand that material that they are presenting to them, is different from someone who, who is a complete and utter auteur and decides to make a painting to where it's very specific to people who understand it. And when you fully understand and grasp what the actual thing and the person is saying, you understand why they made the decision that they did. And again, Dark Souls is not a just a single player for like a single player game. It is a multiplayer game where, again, if you add an easy mode, that throws the entire multiplayer thing into unbalanced territory. And I've already explained several times in this video why having people even go out of the a multiplayer experience just by having the easy mode activated would not work because some people might then switch back to hard mode because after the fact they have all the weapons and they have all these builds and stuff and then they want to go out and pvp and troll and do all the stuff like that but it's one of those things where you look at it and just that's not how things work here all right the way that the game is made is good enough for people to play it again and this is coming from someone who had no souls experience before elden ring who didn't who tried the first dark souls and was like this game needs to be easier who under who was like super and utterly upset at the people who were talking about getting better at the game but i still but now that i've completed dark souls and or well not dark souls but now that i've completed elden ring specifically and gone through a lot of harder difficulty games like squad and like escape from tarkov and been railed up the butt cheeks with just like pure amounts of difficulty i understand why creators make their art the way that they do and why the game makers make their difficulty on a that scale they give you all the tools to be able to beat the game. People have beaten this game at level literal one, but at the same time, just, I don't know. <sighs> at the end of the day, right, Dark Souls in and of itself has a difficulty slider, and it has a difficult skill floor and a difficult skill ceiling. But that skill ceiling is actually achievable. Same thing with that skill floor. The game doesn't want to handhold you because it just knows and treats you like a thinking, reasoning adult who would want to actually, you know, have a, an interesting challenge to it. Putting an easy mode not only throws off the entire game's balance in favor of the player, which is not good thematically speaking, not good gameplay wise, not good for the PvP elements, not good for the uh, sheer understanding of the material and the art that is being presented, and lastly, it's not good for the player experience because it just robs people of that experience. And I don't like using this term of where it robs a person, but there really is no other way to say it. Again, to go back to my rhythm game example, I can't go above like an insane or hard difficulty depending on the song, right? But I still tried it and I'm still like, Ugh. and then I have to go back down to, the, to something that I've already done before to try to get better at making the song. And yeah, certainly. To use that example is to say like, oh, well, you could just do that and then go back to chewing that difficulty. No, not for that. Not for specifically the, the fucking rhythm game song, all right? It, like, it's a completely different experience and a completely different animal depending on the difficulty. You need different skill sets, different understanding of the game mechanics. Whereas if there's just one difficulty, there's enough difficulty for everyone to go around. At least it's the way I feel about it. Anyway, I have talked your ear off enough about this. This is going to be one of those videos where I look at the vid timeline and I'm like, oh crap, this is going to be like super long, but you know, whatever. At the end of the day, Dark Souls is good enough and has an easy mode, which is just play a sorcery or a magic build. So, there you go. 
Anyway, to end, anyway, my name is GamePenguin21. I'm sorry that I had to end that off with a meme. If you want to check out more of what it is that I do, links to everything down in the description. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1K subscribe for the end of the year. And I do stream on Twitch most weekends. Catch me out on twitch.tv slash GamePenguin21. And thank you so much for watching again. Head up, peace.